Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about an operator called first. First operator will give us the first value emitted by the source observable. Last, that's the operator we are going to learn today, will give us the last value which is from the source observable. Let's learn all about it in today's episode with some hands-on examples. Let's get started. This is part 15, operator 10 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure that you try a lot of hands-on with me so that you learn and master it with me. This is the index of all the episodes that I've covered so far, all the operators I've covered so far. Make sure that you check them out so that you learn and master with me. All right, so today we are learning about last operator. What does the last operator do? Last operator will give us the last value emitted by the source observable, right? So again, just like first operator, if you have a fixed set of values, you know, and you want to get the last value, you can just use the last operator. So we'll continue building on the code that we are still using for learning RxJS. So in the last episode, I showed you first, right? So just a quick demo of this so that we know what we are looking at. Open console and I'm going to type something. So we see if I type something, it will give us the first value, which is mobiles, which is coming from a fixed set of array we have here, right? So all we have is a, this is a fixed set of values. I have an array and we are converting into an observable using the from operator. So this will give us these values. So when we say first, we got the mobiles. If we say last, this is our expected value, which is headphones. Right, so let's try it out. Come down here and you see that we have done a subscription to that particular array observable. So instead of first, let's comment this out and last operator. So this will give us the last value. Okay, let's see that in action. So let's say one and we should see headphones coming out as the value. Right, so pretty straightforward, simple use cases, but extremely useful especially when you're dealing with enum values or fixed set of values. These are extremely handy. You don't have to take index of last from array, etc. You can just write the first or last operator and you get the values respectively. I hope uh, these are clear. So I'm not spending much time. I'm making it quick because I want to cover a lot of other operators um, which are really tricky also. So I'll spend more time on the tricky ones. These are straightforward. So I hope that you guys should be able to crack this. But if you have any doubts, please reach out to me in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to help you. Please do subscribe to my channel. The next operator we are going to learn is element at. That's you would find these are very, very useful, especially for filtering values and getting direct values. So that's what we are going to learn in the next episode. Please do subscribe. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you for joining. See in the next episode, we will learn element at operator. Thank you.